This gun melts. What's up, YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get the White Rider of the Skies in Tiny Tina's Wonderland. So don't forget to smash that like button, smash that sub button, and drop a comment. Thanks. And for this gun, you have to head over to Karnok's Wall and fight the Son of a Witch. Or right over here. A little endgame. A little endgame. So if you haven't progress in the story at all this could be a spoiler but let me tell you something after the latest hotfix 1.0.1.0.1.0 g they buffed toxic smgs but if you take a closer look they also did something with the white rider as you can see right here white riders dual beam damage scaling remains unchanged overall increasing the damage each beam deals due to the dahlia scaling change Along with the damage of White Rider's single beam mode was getting scaled twice. The damage was close to what we were aiming for before these buffs, but due to additional increases, we reduced this modifier's form by 11.8%. So they kind of did some weird stuff to it, but it still rips. It's beautiful for ads, but a little mid for boss fights. But what I love most about this weapon is when you're reloading, the poison will literally kill the ad while you're reloading. So all you gotta do is reload and walk away. I love it. I'm gonna show you how to get to Karnox Wall now. Follow me. This shortcut will open once you've completed War Tube Shallows and moved on. And as you can see, Cardox wall to the right. Right over here. So you're going to start off right here. And the fast travel that you want, and if you already have it unlocked, is this one. Positive headspace. All the way up here. I'll be doing a quick walkthrough on how to get there. Real quick. Okay. 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 And we are here. So just make your way to the top and drop down and farm this boss. This guy is so annoying because he spawns this dragon that brings back his shield. So uh, make sure to use cryo on him. That is the weakness for the shield. And then I'm pretty sure it's fire after. I was actually lucky enough to get this gun in the bunny in the chaos chamber. And this is the, this is my second variation. I have two of these guns. I have the glittering white rider of the skies, which is the one that I got from the bunny. And then I have the white rider of the treetops, which is just a world drop. Big difference. Big difference, man. That chaos chamber is fire. I'll tell you that. Let's take a closer look into this weapon. So we have the glittering white rider of the skies. Putrefy, Rot, Spoil, and Fester. Nice. Enchanted. On Spellcast, increase elemental damage by 20% for 5 seconds. That's pretty dope. So you can pretty much cast the spell and start shooting. 10% critical hit damage. 16% fire rate. And a 2.2 times and 5 times zoom. Highly effective versus armor as well. That's a nice roll. I like it. Plus, they buffed the toxic SMGs like everybody's saying. You know what I'm saying? I like how it's a beam that just sticks onto enemies and melts them. It's pretty cool. The green and white design, that also looks pretty sick. I'm going to go test this weapon out right now. I am currently on Chaos Level 13. 
Oh. I'll definitely hit 20 tonight. And here we go. I believe this weapon is more of a mobbing weapon. Not a boss weapon. And like I said earlier, as I'm reloading, they're still melting. Like that. Reload speeds are pretty quick too. It's not a, it's it's not like unbearable or anything. It's it's actually beautiful. I'm hoping to get this gun again by that for volatile though. But first, I got to hit chaos mode level 20 and this gun will get me there. I don't think this gun's gonna get patched anytime soon. It's not too good and it's not too bad. It's perfect. Now, I don't want to speak too soon now, but that's how I'm feeling. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great day. Peace!